Hello Capricorn and welcome to your March monthly reading. This is for Capricorn. Capricorn, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and now TikTok. And I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. All right, Capricorn, this is for you. If this resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Capricorn, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Capricorn out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however it resonates with you. This is for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn. What is going on with... Okay, let's see. Very nice. There you are. Oh, that's nice. Okay. A lot of communication here is very good. Ooh, you've got something really nice coming in here. But you're going to have to make a choice in regards to what you want. All right? I feel like you've got this major fear of being hurt here. Okay? Um, but you are releasing. There's, there's this 10 and this 10. You're letting go of um, things that of course no longer serve you and people that no longer serve you and people that have stabbed you in the back and people that have hurt you you're letting go of all of that which is very good definitely concentrating on the new and not only with love because you got a little bit of a love interest brewing here i want to say kind of like a i don't want to say a crush but maybe um but definitely some interest here right and that's going to be nice and there's going to be a lot of communication between you and this new love interest. A lot of communication. So that's good. But mainly what you are focusing on right now, um, yeah, love, but you got some, you got some pinnacles going on here. And I see that, um, so let's talk about the money here just real quick. And then we'll get into the love portion, okay? Because you, I do see a lot of pinnacles here. You have been concentrating, I don't know if it's like an apprenticeship or really focused on career goals, really focused on working hard, um, really, and what you have been working hard towards, uh, maybe it's some sort of degree, maybe it's some sort of advancement, maybe it's some sort of promotion or a raise or something. You want to be noticed, you want them to see you, you want to stand out, and you've been very, right here, working, working, working. And you've been very, very focused on that. This is you. You've been very focused on um, your dreams, your goals, your aspirations, and just doing your Capricorn thing. Uh, because, and it's been tough, right? Because in the past, you've been having to really save, um, be very, very careful with your money. This is the miser of the tarot. Um, and you want some sort of pay off for all of your hard work well i feel that that's coming because we got the sun card here so there's going to be some new beginning here and it's going to be amazing it's going to make you very happy whatever this is that you are working towards that you're putting everything into um it's going it's it's a fresh new start here it's it's going to make you very happy with that sun card here and there's victory on its way towards you so that is very, very good. So you've been working and it, your hard work is paying off here, Capricorn. All right. Um, a lot of you, it's like a degree or an apprenticeship or something like that. But you've been very, very focused on that. All right. So Capricorn, let's get into the love portion here. Ten of Wands, right? Yesterday's heavy. Put it down. You're exhausted with it. You're tired of holding on to old thoughts of the past and old ideas and you, everything's just shifting for you in a very positive direction. Um, 
So you're just kind of letting it go. You're letting the past go and you're moving on. Basically, Ten of Wands, that is fire energy. It's a cycle that is complete for you, right? You are closing out this chapter. You've healed. You're ready for new chapters, new beginnings. And I feel like somebody, you're going to have a lot of conversations with a lot. Um, and they're going to be good. And there's going to be a lot of laughter here between you and this individual. So that's good. And potential. So there's potential here. But this is like the start. We're going to get to know each other on such a deep level um, before we we come to this conclusion but this is the goal you you're looking for somebody um stable you're looking for blessings you're looking for pentacles somebody that you can you know somebody that's that's like-minded in regards to those goals that you've been working on that we were talking about um just determined this sheer determination but anyway, Ten of Pentacles, right? That's long-term commitment. That's what you're looking for. Family, blessings, abundance, loyalty, right? This is this is what you want with somebody. And I feel like there's potential here. If you decide to let this person into your heart, right? You're going to be a little resistant here at first, but you want you want this. You're going to be a little resistant, okay? You don't want anybody messing up what you've created for yourself here because you've been very hard at work. And you and so they're going to really have to take their time to talk to you. It's all about the communication at this point here. You want to get to know them thoroughly and and vice versa. They want to get to know you thoroughly, right? All of the little the little things what makes you you and that's a very good thing so you're going to kind of be a little standoffish at first and they're going to have to work hard through communication to get you to open up to them which is fine right that's that's a good thing all right capricorn i'm going to read the energies of the cards here so if the sign of the person that you're dealing with have dealt with or will be dealing with in the future if their sign pops up, all the better. Keep in mind, time is fluid. Cross watchers, keep in mind that some of these energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however it resonates with you. Um, yeah, it's a general reading. So you assign the roles as you wish. So at the heart of the reading, we got some wish fulfillment here right? Some happiness here because there's a new energy coming around that's going to be showing you interest, right? There's attraction here and they genuinely want to, this is a love message. So here's the lines of communication opening up in a way that isn't shy. They're here to get to know you for romantic purposes, right there's no ifs ands or buts about it they're interested in you romantically okay so they're not really putting on a show they just want to see if you would be interested in them too so this is a wish fulfillment for you because it's somebody new and you you're going to want to explore this so that's nice all right it makes you happy so that's good like i said at the root of this reading is all about you all about you and your happiness and what you want You've been very um, career focused, self focused, self love, um, ambitions, goals, that kind of thing. Queen of Pentacles energy, right? That's you all day. Uh, Earth energy, stabilizing, stabilizing yourself, right? Independent, making sure you've got it going on and you got it going on here, Capricorn, okay? So that's very good. So, I feel like in the past, in regards to love with this miser card, this is the miser card of the tarot with this four of pentacles, I feel like you had a little bit of a block. Okay, you were shielded. You were shielded. You were, gu you were guarded with your heart. And maybe you are a little bit still, right? Until you really get to know somebody, which is fine. 
but the past did leave um, leave you a little a, a little damaged but you you are releasing that you are taking this shield off of your heart so that love can come in so you're removing that block and you're not going to be stingy with your heart anymore you've got closure to the past and you are ready for new chapters so that's very good sun card very healing energy so that's very nice this is all about the new right this is all about your happiness this is all about freedom from the past this is all about joy and expansion and new beginnings and enlightenment and just beautiful things and that's exactly what's happening this is very positive this is the happiest card in the tarot and it trumps every card here every card on this table so you are well on your way to some new beginnings um, in love right and it's about time because this has been you for for a hot minute right just suffering suffering with people that just do you every which way and you're just ready to take all you know these swords out of your back and stand tall again and you know the past is done even if the past came back around you're so beyond over it like the past you can't even see the past the same way it what they did to you here right um it changed like you wouldn't even want them to touch you that's how bad it hurt you can't even see them the same way right so this de reading is definitely for those of you wanting new energy and you're just done with the past so new energy is most definitely coming in here and you are wanting to talk to this person right and they're wanting to talk to you there's going to be a lot of back and forth communication here and you're ready for it you're ready to receive the arrows of love that are being thrown at you now you could meet this person right this is fast moving communication you can meet this person on the internet somehow that's for some of you not all of you but eight of wands there and this person is looking for a victory ace of swords this is a very truthful person you're going to enjoy speaking with this person um, it's going to be open it's going to be a lot of back and forth it's going to be a lot of um, quick wit it's going to be very funny um, they got some good one-liners that you're going to thoroughly enjoy and they like to make you laugh so ace of swords they're in it to win it they're in it for that victory in your hopes and fears I honestly think you don't want anybody interfering with what you've been working towards you don't want anybody interfering with your I mean independence yes you're ready to be with somebody again I feel but you don't want anybody knocking you off your game here because you've worked so hard and you've come so far and you know they're, they're going to have to accept you right the way that you are because you look absolutely amazing and you just don't want anybody to interfere with your flow do you understand what i'm saying and and the, the these goals you know they're going to have to be very like-minded um like power couple type energy here they they have to have their own goals they have to have their own situation going on because you're you're busy all right um you'll make time for them they'll make time for you but you're not going to stop being focused on the things that you want in life okay um so it, they have to be in that career-minded goal focus let's you know uh, we're a partnership you know i'm not going to you know walk 10 steps behind you and you walk in front of me that kind of thing it has to be we got to be together here and we got to be like-minded and focused okay so is this the person for you is this um your other half here capricorn you could be dealing with a um gemini or somebody with strong gemini in their chart you're gonna have to make that decision 
It's time to follow your heart. Do you want to follow it with this particular individual? Are they what you've been looking for? Right? Are they what you've been looking for? So let's see. They may be coming in quite unexpectedly, but they're here. So it's going to be a nice surprise, a pleasant surprise. And all these swords, there's a lot of communication. This person may be very blunt, and you might like that. Knight of Swords, this is um, air energy. All right, this is for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn. Please clarify the lovers here. For Capricorn, please clarify the lovers here. Let's see. Yeah, they're coming in pretty quickly, right? You have to decide. Yes, it's going to be passionate with this Knight of Wands, right? Definitely could live at a distance here with this person. It could be like a long distance relationship for some of you, not all of you. But I got a couple cards of travel. Um, but you're going to make sure that they're not a player. And that's where this, um, all of this conversation comes in. So you're going to hold back until you know that you're not going to get played. And then that's when you're going to follow your heart and open your heart to this person, right? Because you're done with people that it's where it's difficult. You're done with adverse. This was the past, right? With this five of swords. So difficult situation. It has to be smooth. It has to be easy. Um, and if this person starts showing you red flags, you are strong enough and capable enough to walk away from the situation. But I strongly feel you're going to see what you need to see here in regards to this person. And I feel like you're going to follow your heart. Um, but at the end of the day, it is up to you. But if they start like being player, you know, start giving you those narcissistic vibes or like their pride or, you know, they're too, you know, they think there's something else. Um, you're just going to leave them alone. You're not even going to waste your time. Um, players or people that think they're, you know, God's gift to the universe. So, a lot of conversations going to need to take place here. And I feel like that's what's, that's what's really going to win your heart. Because you're really going to get to know this person. And that's, a, that's an excellent thing. And I feel like you're going to enjoy this person's energy. Let's pull some romance angels. For Capricorn. This is for Capricorn. What is going on with Capricorn? What is going on with Capricorn? Let's see. Okay, so you've been healing, right? You've taken your time to heal from this and you're ready for some flirting which is what we've been talking about. Somebody showing you interest. You're ready for that now. And that's very good. So healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So you got rid of this, right? All this, maybe not completely, you know, the past leaves us with lessons, leaves us with scars, but you're ready to take that shield down, that block, right? That block, your heart's been blocked. So you've been healing, right, son? And you're ready for some um, excitement. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So somebody new coming in wanting to show you interest. And there's not going to be any doubt that they're, they're here for um, those purposes. So Capricorn, you got, you got a decision to make. Attraction, yes. Are they the one for you? That's going to have to be um, up for you to decide. But the beautiful thing is you're ready to accept new energy into your space. Hallelujah, right? The block is there no more. You're ready to get to know new energies and there's going to be a lot of communication. But you, before you follow your heart, you're going to know, have to know beyond the, a shadow of a doubt that they're not a player. And they're not going to cause you grief, basically. So, bravo. 
don't blame me on that one. All right, Capricorn, that is your reading. I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope it resonates with some of you, most of you, all of you. I want to warn you guys about the um, scammers and the um, imposters out there. Like I said at the beginning of the video, you can follow me on my socials, right? Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and now TikTok. I'm going to leave the links down below in the description box. Please do follow those links, okay? Because there are so many imposters and scammers out there. They've been um, taking um, my profile pictures and my avatar or whatever, creating these fake accounts, and they've been doing it to other readers too. And not only readers, but I've seen like a couple of like religious people as well um, and a couple other people. They pretend to be other people and in regards to the tarot and spiritual community, they will offer people readings um, and they'll get, they'll send you um, friend requests, they'll send you emails, they'll send you, uh, they'll give you their WhatsApp number and some sort of fake email address and none of it's me. All right, I do not offer private readings. I do not uh, use WhatsApp. I would never send you a friend request. I have a business page on Facebook. Um, so just be very mindful of that, right? And my only email is down below in the description box. So really check when you receive that kind of stuff. Really look and see, okay? On Instagram, you know, I have... Um, and they just been stealing, straight up stealing my content, especially on Instagram and, and acting like it's their own. But I have over 30K followers over on Instagram. And I know that a lot of these accounts do not. So be very mindful. All right. Really look at these accounts and see what's going on with them. Okay. Um, so check them out. Make sure you're not getting scammed out there. I don't want, I'm telling you guys this so you don't get scammed. All right, next week, Capricorn, I'll be working on the How Do They Feel About You readings, so check those out. And uh, whatever, <laughs> whatever, what else? Um, for those of you new to the channel, welcome. I do have a weekly schedule and a live schedule. The weekly schedule will let you know when your weekly reading will be released. And the live schedule, I usually go live every day, but Saturday around noon Eastern Standard Time. All that can be found down below in the description box or in the about section of my channel. You guys take very good care of yourself. I hope you're having a great week and I hope to talk to you all very, very 